What's up, what's up, beautiful people? This is your girl, Chris, coming back through with another podcast situation. Welcome to Ch- the Chat with Nola podcast. All right, so here to do an update on, um, of course, our favorite friend, Kodak Black. Um, so co- court finds that Kodak Black's failed drug test could be the result of a starstruck employee mixing up the urine sample with someone else's. Judge then gives Kodak a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> what? What? Sounds ridiculous. First of all, who's mixing up somebody else's test because they're allegedly so starstruck? Number one. Um, number two, this drug this judge really did give do Kodak a favor because she could have demanded a, a test versus giving him the option of taking a test versus 30 days in inpatient. So so basically, um, it says neighbors, an employee who conducted Kodak's failed drug test, admitted during a court hearing today that they might have might have mixed up his samples with someone else's because they were starstruck. Prosecution agreed that a hair sample could be taken Tuesday to determine if Kodak had any illicit drugs in his system. He she then granted the defense request that Kodak be allowed to enter a 30-day inpatient drug treatment program next week so that he can attend the Rolling Out Loud Festival. That's a person that's giving you a chance. That's a person that's giving you a pass. That's a person that's not trying to throw you in jail. Because I'm going to be honest, in this situation right here, that judge could have easily said, you're going to take a sample today, period, point blank. And you would have been found to have drugs. Now, I read also, too, that when they asked him to take a drug test, right, he said no. He opted for the 30 days of inpatient treatment uh, in order to avoid taking the drug test. Let that sink in. So that means he really has drugs in his system because he wouldn't even take a drug test. I think that's mighty nice of that drug that judge to accommodate him in that way. And I think it's good because it shows that you know that you know a lot of people and it does happen. A lot of people talk about, you know, the system just throws black men away. But I mean, how many chances do you get? You got a pardon from Donald Trump. This lady's literally giving you a slap on the wrist. After you miss your actual testing date, you were found to have mental knowledge system. And if this was such a big mix up, why didn't you clear it up, right? So that's what we have on Kodak Black. It also says in um, something about it's going to, so the 30 day inpatient is he has to live there. So remember in the reading, I, not the reading, it was a podcast slash reading situation um, that's right here on this channel. Remember I talked about there would be some restrictions placed upon him and it almost made me feel like I even said the words house arrest. That to me is in a form, it's not house arrest, but it's a form of being restricted. So they did impose some re- restrictions on him, right? Um, which will slow him down. Dude, this is a pass. This is a true pass for you. This is a way for you to get it together. Like, what do you need? And I think, I mean, it's just a shame. And I really like Kodak Black that if he would, it would be shame for him to go down that path of returning back to jail because he simply can't get it together. But addiction is real, guys. Addiction is serious and addiction is no joke, right? So we wish Kodak the best of luck in his uh, his his journey. And I hope that he can just really kind of take hold of his, his life um, because he's gotten so many passes even that oxycodone situation was a, a to me a pass he's still out he's still free um you know this situation he could have easily been back you know added back to, to prison he's a very likable person a lot of people in the comment sections comment section were saying that you know he's a very likable person but at some point some point, point kodak what are you going to do to do something different differently so again this is on hollywood unlock now Florida judge orders rapper orders rappers to uh, Kodak Black to check into rehab after testing positive for fentanyl. They're not playing with him on this one. Um, so pretty much um, Broward County clerk of courts previously explained that Kodak, whose legal name is Bill Capri, violated conditions of his pretrial release after he failed to submit a sample to a random drug test earlier this month. So he's re- like, so basically he is literally not and not doing that, and then he turns around and refuses in court. They said um, here, uh, court documents show that Black tested positive for fentanyl. As a result, the judge Tuesday sentenced him to 30 days in rehab. His short stint will begin shortly after his live performance at the Rolling Loud in California. 
So child, chime on in. You got give me your feedback. I mean, this man has literally missed a drug testing date, and he basically tested the fentanyl when he came back. They then got this starstruck employee to say that he was so starstruck that he, you know, he didn't do his job. So I don't know what that's about. That's not like a hookup. Or the voodoo priestess is working real, real hard. Um, and now he gets into court and the judge says, hey, can we get a sample today since, you know, there's a mix up and he refused to get a sa- give a sample. So you know what time it is. Um, and now he's being restricted and placed on a 30 day pretty much hold in rehab, which I think is a good thing for him. So he better think his lucky stars that he is a uh, that he has a good legal team. That's the same lawyer that was in court for Drake with the um, the whole situation with the uh, XXX Tentacion. If you pay attention, that's the same lawyer. All right. So this guy must be pretty damn good. All the celebrities are getting him to represent him, um, represent them in legal situations. So anyway, this is your girl, Chris, with a follow up. Check out the podcast situation where we talked about, you know, the fact that, um, you know, that he would be having some sort of in- restrictions imposed upon him. I'm going to be honest with you. He still has imprisonment in his energy. So Kodak Black, Black better tread lightly and he better do the right thing because it definitely shows that down the road. And I'm not and I'm a knock on wood and I want, you know, I don't, I don't want to see him in jail. I do like him. He's likable, but he's got to fly right. He's got to fly straight. Um, but he does still have imprisonment in his energy. But go ahead and check out that full podcast where we did on Kodak Black. And that podcast also included some information on Lotto and 21 Savage. I know there's a big back and forth going on where she said she's not with him. But then somebody came out and said, oh, she lying. So we're not getting into all that child. I said what I said on my podcast and I'm not taking it back. But we wish Kodak Black, we wish you, sir, the best of luck. We hope that you uh, can put uh, your freedom first and that you can continue to give us that great, good old good music, great music. Uh, we like your energy. We like your spirit. We like your spunk and your tenacity. We like your energy, but you gotta, uh, you gotta do the right thing, and you gotta uh, stay away from drugs. Stay no to drugs. Drugs, drugs will destroy your life. That's that's something we learned all in second grade. Um, and um, so this judge has really given him um, another pass, another a life, if you will, because this this lady could have demanded him take a drug test today, and he would have been his goose would have been cooked, and um, he still has a restriction imposed on him. And I, and I kept saying it could be house arrest. Because remember, I say I was seeing imprisonment, but then I'm like, it could be house arrest. But yeah, this is as close to house arrest you're going to get being in a rehab jail. So good luck to Kodak Black. We wish him the best of luck. And uh, hopefully he can stay out of trouble and fly right. Again, this is the Chat with Nola podcast. Thank you so much for coming through. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. And don't forget that I'm running a special $60, six questions, 35 minutes on my website, which is Blue Nola Tarot. Um, again, on my website, Blue Nola Tarot. Again, I'm going to go ahead and link it right here for you so you can see it. It's going to scroll across the screen, screen really quickly. Um, so don't forget again to subscribe and you can always do your bookings at www.bluenolatarot.com. Again, I'm running this juicy, juicy sale. So don't forget to take your girl Blue Nola out. I look forward to reading for you. I've had some wonderful, amazing readings, and um, I appreciate all the people that have booked so far. And thank you for participating in our new podcast. It has a new home. As promised, I'm being consistent out here. Today, we will either today or tomorrow, we'll launch a full video on YouTube, okay? But today, we're doing, I'm trying to like just be consistent on this podcast thing. Have a great day. Take care. Stay blessed. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace and blessings. Bye.